Power bills in WA are set to soar again. In the next two years, we'll be paying the highest price for electricity in the country. Funding for hardship schemes will also be more difficult to access as the government sticks to its plan not to sell Western Power. Power prices are going down in the east, but here in WA, it's the opposite. Western Australia will have the highest energy prices in Australia. The state government slashing taxpayer-funded subsidies in a desperate move to improve its bottom line. What we're seeing is a move towards actually paying, Western Australians paying, for the real cost of the electricity that is consumed. Last year, the average family of four paid around $1,400 for electricity. That jumped to more than $1,500 this year, a 10.9% increase. By 2020, the cost of power is expected to spike again to $1,770. That's a $358 increase in just three years. Unlike other parts of Australia, power prices here are set by the state government. The opposition wants that to change. Broader communities should have access and choice as to who provides them the energy. We have a much more stable system in Western Australia. We're determined to keep it that way. The McGowan government staying firm on its promise not to sell off Western power. When I talk to premiers from other states about what's gone on in their states, they also don't sell it. They say don't sell it. Uh, it's a mistake. Privatisation creates competition, opens up the marketplace and that we believe that would be a good thing. An extra $5 million will be added to the utilities hardship scheme during the mid-year review to help those unable to pay their bill. But the state government is also making it harder for those people to qualify for a payout. Nathan Brooks, Nine News.